Right. In fact, your evolutionists will not deal with true science. They don't have any true science to back up the theory or hypotheses of evolution. They just rush to that conclusion because they don't want to admit in their heart that there's a superior being that's who right. created that's this right. whole thing. And if that's true, then they have to fall subservient to him and give an answer to it. And that can't, they can't allow that in their composition and their thinking. So they deny that God is. Yeah. But 2,000 years ago, two-thirds of Earth's history had already uh, expired. So that means we're, today we're much closer than Peter was when he wrote that 2,000 years ago. Listen, the coming of the Lord is imminent. It's right at hand. Yes, sir. And the Bible said people are not going to be expected. In fact, the world, the unbelievers are going to be saying, where, saying, where is the promise of His coming? Yeah. Well, since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were and have been. You know what that is? That's uniformitarianism. It says that now, there's been no catastrophe on this earth. They deny the, the universal flood of Noah. They try to reason that the Grand Canyon was made uh, over great periods of time, and that's not so. It, it's impossible with geologic laws, the laws of uh, science and reality. You can't make a meandering uh, riverbed that's a mile deep uh, <coughs> with that slow of a trickle and hardened rock, it won't do it. But as the flood receded off the earth, yeah. and that uh, rock was soft, that's when God did it, I believe. Yeah. You say, well, I don't believe that. You believe what you want to. But I'd like to see you support it with the Bible or with history or with science. You can't do it. Nobody can do it. But let God be true and every man a liar. Amen. Amen world today, and especially the United States, have played the whore on God. Yes, sir. They've committed whoredoms on God, and uh, people wonder why well, they want to blame it on Obama and blame it on Bush. It doesn't matter if there are Republicans or Democrats in there. Every last one of them are in bed with a Babylonian whore. Yes. Every last one of them hate the Lord God of that Bible. Amen. That's right. And so it's going to be going just like this, my friends, when Jesus comes. Yes, sir. And uh, folks are going to, he's going to come as a thief in the night to most people in the world. The Bible says, but that that day should not come upon you as a thief. If you've got better sense, you've got the Word of God to show you. And uh, that's over in First and Second Thessalonians. So you can hardly beg people to come to church. I don't blame them. Most of the time, all you get is a burlesque show. Yeah. Amen. That's right. God, go around to the churches in Washington County and they dress like a bunch of cockeyed whores. Am I not telling you the truth? That's right. Go down to Tennessee. Same thing. Go down yes, to Kentucky. Sir. All across this country. <coughs> That's right. We can't get people to come to church by preaching the truth, so they get fog machines. Yeah. And rock music. Psychedelic light. That's right. And blowing smoke and fog in there, son. That ain't nothing but the devil's mess. Yeah. Amen. We don't have to wonder how America is in the position of being. We've left the God of our fathers. Right? That's right, brother. So, Ralph. Glad he's still alive. You know, most of the World War II veterans are about all gone. Yeah. I, I look up to the older men. The Bible says to do that. And so, anyway, Brother Wally, he hauled off, took a sledgehammer, and busted the handle on his chainsaw just so he had an excuse to come up here. That's, <laughs> that's what I call putting your faith to work. <laughs> And he figured he hit it the first time and he called to see how much it cost to repair it. It wasn't bad enough, so he hit it again to make it cost more money to repair it and to come up here and get one off the brother back. So, you know, I'm glad that he, he will do what he has to come visit. But we love 